और और वी कैन गो हेड विद द सेशन ओके सो सिंस आई कैंट सी एनी क्वेश्चंस इन द चैट बॉक्स आई विल डायरेक्टली मूव ऑन टू द सेशन वी डिस्कस्ड इन द मॉर्निंग सेशन टिल द स्क्रिप्ट राइटिंग now we will move on to understand what storyboarding is and what a storyboard looks like we will see one one of the storyboard and then after that we will actually move on to a software through which you can edit the uh, your video resource you can finally create your resource or you can say you can compile your resource both way it is uh, perfectly okay i'll just share the screen so yes we discussed what a script is how it looks like uh, it is a two column format generally but of course as a teacher you can have your own uh, draft also it can be a two column or it can also be a three column script if you think you need to give certain specific instruction for something else which you think that is not possible or it will get uh, somehow distorted in audio and video so you can have another comments column or remarks column it is up to you and also if you want to separate out the video and the visual column you can separate that out also that in the video column you will uh, give the specific instructions related to video that how it has to be shot what will be the camera angle and all those things and in the visual resources you can give specific instruction related to the images maps graph infographic to be added or any slide to be added or any name to be added or you know uh, if there is an image you want to you know highlight different aspects of that image those all inputs can be given on that uh, third column also but in general if you ask then this is the format which you are seeing on your screen apart from the script there are important components which you need to keep in mind i hope you can see it on your screen also and you know it also because as a teacher we are always told that we should use simple language it should be very clear this should not be any ambiguity for example when you draft a question paper it should not be an ambiguous question paper it should be concise all those elements also apply in the script see question paper we can still read once twice thrice but when we are watching the video in a group it is not possible for us to rewind and forward all the time okay so if the language is simple clear easy to understand the dialogues are small small means when we write we generally write sometime one sentence of three lines also so try to make it like one liner sentences so that when i'm listening to that sentence it is easier for me to comprehend otherwise what will happen i started somewhere and i keep saying my sentence is yet not closed and the listener the viewer has got lost in the meaning of the sentence okay and also the uh, the the script writing the dialogues or the narration whatever you are writing try to you know bring energy into them engagement into them so that we are able to attract the audience for example in the morning session we had lot of discussion so you were all engaged in writing part of it you were writing on the chat if we had the option of uh, doing it physical then you would have raised hands so the interaction will go on like this but if that is not possible then at least with our voice modulation which we can play so that the engagement is you know uh, kept alive otherwise it will become dragging and boring and also the next thing is illustrations with the dialogues so it will help for example somewhere some difficult word is coming that has to come you cannot avoid avoid it in that case we can have some kind of text on the screen for the uh, understanding of the learner so this all you also need to keep in mind when you are into writing a script you can have variety of images animation you can also you know take benefit from the graphs maps 
and any other kind of visual resource which you think is appropriate for your resource. So, for example, for social science studies, you can have timelines to show. Because if I keep on saying that the, this king ruled first and then this happened and then this happened, it would be boring as well as, you know, very monotonous kind of communication. But if I present a timeline, it will be a visual presentation. So, my mind, even if I'm not able to hear, I will focus on reading. Or while hearing, I'll focus on the reading, maybe a different color uh, coding or maybe a different image. For example, you can see here, utilize image, we have created an image. Animation, we have added some image. Graphs, we have added an image of clip art of graph. So this way, I am easily able to connect that, okay, something like graph was visible, even if I've not read it. Okay, so this will help the learner to utilize his different senses to understand and learn new things. So you should also incorporate a variety of visual elements in the video resource which you are creating. Now, now comes the third component which is called a storyboard. Storyboard seems to be very complex to us because we have never created one or we have never seen one. So, if you want to understand what exactly storyboard is, storyboard is basically, if you see, it is a visually, uh, we are presenting the basic script we have written. For example, I have written a dialogue. In that dialogue, whatever visual I have written, I am going to draw it and show. Okay, so for example, right now I am speaking. So my video is that my mid shot is coming in the frame. Okay, so I have written that mid shot of the speaker. Here, I am going to show a box where one person, maybe a stick figure, you don't have to be a master of drawing, maybe a stick figure in denominating, uh, 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 telling that is it a male, a female, that is it, that you can showcase who's speaking, where the person is sitting. Right now, I'm in the middle of the screen. I can also be on the side of the screen or this side of the screen. There could be a some kind of flower pot here. That all you can show in the storyboard with your illustration. Okay, so now purpose kya hai, why we need a storyboard because most of the things are clear from script. But for example, you don't know how to write a camera angle. That it's a, it's a low angle, it's a high angle shot or it's a bird eye view shot, mid shot, close up, OTS, which kind of shot it is. You don't know the terminology. In that case, you can maybe illustrate it. It will be easier for the uh, the other person to understand your perspective that what you want in your shot. And this will enhance the understanding and communication between the team which will basically streamline the process of video production. So these are this is a basic understanding of uh, storyboarding. We will also see one storyboard, but before that, I want to show you certain uh, things also. So, how a storyboard is built? We have frames, basically. So, when uh, right now you can see on your screen that a presentation is visible, and on this, besides, if you have switched on, in the gallery view, some of the faces would be visible of the presenter and a few members who have switched on your cam their camera. Right? In similar way, in similar way, you see a storyboard that in one frame, the first shot, in the second frame, the second shot, third frame, the third shot is written along with the dialogue for that particular shot. And it is done in a sequential manner along with the camera angles, as I mentioned. And also, if you need to give certain specific note, you can, you can have uh, the instruction or note also there. These are the basic uh, components of a storyboard. Now, how to create a storyboard? So first of all, you should be very thorough with your script. Once you are thorough with your script, you will realize that there are different scenes. Say, for example, in a classroom, I'll take the classroom situation again because we are very well aware of the classroom situation. So there could be one shot that the camera is on the door of the classroom and the teacher is coming from far off. Okay. Then there could be another shot 
we are behind the camera is behind the teacher and teacher is moving towards the classroom we can see the classroom and we can also see a few children standing in front and few are sitting somebody sitting on the desk uh, you know where the books are to be kept so all these things are visible then third shot could be the teacher is entering the class now here the shots are changing position frame is changing because once teacher is on the gate and beyond the gate will be a different scene altogether we can visualize that so these are called shots so you have to identify different uh, you know scene is basically created on one location okay one location and in one flow that is one scene one scene can have 20 shots also right now it was like one teacher was outside the classroom and students were in once the teacher has entered the scene has started okay now the scene is in the classroom but the shots can vary you can show two three type of shot one is towards looking to camera looking towards the teacher one could be camera looking towards the student and one could be teacher writing on the board these could be majorly three shots which you can plan and the shot the shot which will be looking at the student will be a wider shot because we need to cover 30 40 students in that shot and also the uh, the the shot which we will be covering covering teacher and the blackboard would also be you know slightly wider because we need to show what is being written and something is written on the blackboard so we are showing the bigger blackboard and the shot which will cover the teacher will have a mid long shot mid long means uh, till somewhere till waist so that's a mid long shot so in this way you can plan your shots and scenes but once you go through the script, then only you can do it. Now sketching it, as I told, the teacher is writing on the board. So you can show a board box and some sketch of a person and one, you know, stick or chalk on the board. That will indicate that we want to show somebody writing. Okay. Similarly, then we can have notes and direction points if you want to give any. And you can always review and refine what you have done. This is basically, uh, you can say, a storyboard where we are transforming our words into visuals. And this is what is the art of storytelling or video production. Now I'm going to share uh, one storyboard with you. You can see this. You can see on your screen that there is something like of a heart. The content is written in Hindi here. I will uh, tell you in English. It is a scene of a village where we could hear or we should hear an, or some audio of a teacher taking the attendance in the classroom. Okay. So we can, from here, we can make out anyone. For that matter, you are a teacher, not even a director, producer, but you can make out that this is a school. A teacher is taking attendance and we are showing a bigger, wider shot of the school in which whole school is covered. This is the first thing. So right now I'm showing it PPT because uh, you can easily, you know, understand. Otherwise, these are all kept in one, 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 one in go, in a sequence. The second shot is now you understood the school thing. Now the teacher is sitting on the table because we see, we could hear that the teacher is taking attendance. That means she's sitting on the chair. So she's sitting on the chair. A register is in front of her. It's just an indicative register and some students are sitting. We can see that we are seeing the back of students in front of a teacher with blackboard. Okay, this is a wider shot. Now, coming to the third. Right now, the student, some uh, the uh, one of the student is answering back to teacher that this girl she's taken the attendance of some girl. She is not present. So she saying the the student is saying that the girl will not come to school now because she is getting married. So now you can see this is a mid-long shot. This is not a wider shot because we are focusing on one desk. Then teacher, close-up of teacher, a mid-shot of teacher where teacher is thinking and kept taking the attendance. Here, this is the, I told you about this shot that from the back of the teacher, camera is placed there and we can see the students giving the attendance. Now the shot, the scene is changing. This was one scene with variety of shots. Now the scene is changing. The teacher is somewhere in the farms or, you know, some kind of gardens. We can see that. 
and she's talking to somebody. She's asking some way out. So the person is telling the way. This is a story book. I won't take it uh, all further till end, but this is what a storyboard looks like. So if you think that your script demands a storyboard for a clarity, you should go for a storyboard. Now, since we have understood what a storyboard is, how to you know um, create a storyboard, what a script is. So now you must have understood that what all we need when we are getting into video editing. So now. I can imagine that you have shot your video, you have collected some images, whichever are required for the video, and you have also identified certain kind of music and sound effects if you need them in your video, and you brought them up on the computer, on your system. Once this much, once this much is achieved, then you can go for editing. Basically, it's like when we are leaving for a trip or wherever, anywhere, we pack everything together and then only we leave. So this is like, before we start editing, we are going to pack everything in one folder, keep it in our computer so that we can start the editing. Right? The video is shot, audio is ready, music, sound effects are ready, any images, any visual resource you need are also available with you. Now you can start the editing portion of the video resource. This is the uh, portion where we are actually going to, uh, you know, compile all these resources together into a nice video program. So now the tool which we are going to use here for video resources is called Open Shot Video Editor. You can see on my screen, it is already downloaded. Open Shot Video Editor. Okay. As a teacher, as a... Uh, in the age of uh, digital media, you might be knowing different softwares like Filmora or Wondershare. Oh, sorry, Wondershare is Filmora only or uh, Kid, um, Kind Master or any other. There is no problem using those softwares. They are, they might be free, freemium, but they are not free softwares. And this software, which I am going to tell you, we have selected onto one software. This is Open Short Video Editor. This is a free and open source software. You have learned about OER. So now you can understand what an open short video editor will do. It is freely available. You can easily download and use this software. Now, when you go and you know download, you have to select your device compatibility. This is a laptop or computer software, not a mobile app. This is not a mobile app. This is just a computer or a laptop supported software. I will just uh, take you through how to download it. Right now, say for example, Google, I'm simply writing open short video editor. The website link is openshort.org. Once you click on this, this page will appear. You can say here download thing is visible, download for all these. So if I click here or click here, anywhere you click, you will land onto a downloading page. Okay. When you go to the downloading page, you can see Windows 64 bit for Windows 7, 8, 10 plus. If your window is something like this, use the 64 bit this installer. You can simply click and download this software. If you have 32 bit, your computer is very old, your windows are very old, just check the settings. And if it is a 32 bit, you can click here 32 bit and the 32 bit will start getting downloaded. I want to close it because I don't want to download it right now. Just like this, you have to download. If you have a 9X, that means open source operating system, like Ubuntu or any other, then you can go for Linux download. If you have a Chrome operating system, go for Chrome. If you have an iOS, go for iOS. So you've got variety of operating systems here. Based on your need, you can download the software. And once it is download, you need to install it in your computer along with selecting the language for your preference, like English or any other language. And then once it is installed, then this will come here as a shortcut. Okay, now I will open the software and we will directly move on to the editing part of this uh, tool. 
I'll simply double click the way you open any kind of file or software. You have to double click this and you can start opening this software. Yes, there is uh, there is uh, something in chat that I can edit on Adobe Premiere. Adobe Premium, Premiere is not a free software. It is a professional software and it demands a lot of uh, investment. In short, a Kind Master has certain free features, but it comes with watermark. Filmora, in short, also I think has very brief uh, free feature. Rest all is paid. So these are costly or definitely need some kind of investment. This software which we are going to do is completely free. You may have certain features very simply displayed, some slightly complex, but it happens with most of the softwares. And also if you've learned editing on any of the softwares, it is easy for you to learn on any new software because the basic premise of editing remains same. For example, if you have started learning, if you know how to work on do uh, document, Word doc, then you can definitely work on any other doc format also. It becomes easier for you because you know the basic keys, basic features, and you can easily edit. Okay, so now we will start with OpenShot Video Editor. Why I have given such clarity in the beginning is that because we keep asking these questions, ma'am, is it an app? Can we use some other software? Can we do this? Can... So here we are focusing on one software. You can learn as many as you want. The, here for this training, we are going to focus on any one so that we are on the same align. We, we are aligned to one thing together. And also app and this thing, this is not a mobile app. Others are definitely a mobile app. So you can uh, choose based on your needs. Okay. So now since you can see my screen, now please focus on the screen. Don't get into the downloading and everything. Here I'm going to indicate to every uh, most of the buttons which are uh, directly useful to us and then we will start the editing part. Here you can see file, edit, title, view, help. These are the basic buttons. You can explore them. This is the plus button. These are save button, undo, redo and this is a plus button. Plus button means if you come here, it will tell. This is import files. Import file means whenever you need to edit, you need some raw file for that so you can import that raw file from this button okay so i will click on this uh, button and then uh, we'll go forward this choose profile we'll see later on and this is the final export video portion i'm clicking on import files now we are going to import some files like a video some images so that we can see how the editing can be done So this is one video I imported. I go back. One image. And two more files I have imported. Now you can see here, this is the library of the OpenShot video editor. When you open this software, one, this thing is open, this is a one project file. Okay, so whatever we are going to put here will be the project library, not the software library. It is not like so I'll open some other file, I'll get these. No, whenever I'll open this file, I will get these images and videos. So this is a project library. Now, I want to edit something, but how to edit? I don't understand. These are some of the things which are kept here. So now we will understand how to edit. In this project uh, files page, we uh, just beside this, we have this review window. Preview means whatever I am editing, I am able to see it here. If you want to increase the size or decrease the size, use these dots and drag it so that you can increase and decrease the size based on your need. The third thing is tracks. You can see here, there are five tracks visible. Five is the topmost track. It starts with one. 
So it gives automatically five tracks for video editing. You can use all of them. You can use one of them. You can use two, three, as many as you want. And if you want to add a track, you think you need one more track, there is again a plus button here. You can simply click on this and you can add a track here also. Okay, so this is clear now. Now we will do the actual editing here. So for editing, I am first taking my video as a basic. So I am uh, simply dragging this video here. And playing this video. Just listen to this video, what it is about and then we will edit. Hello all, my name is Yuja Garbar. I hope you can hear the audio from the video itself. I study in class 2D from MT International School, Sector 1, Vasundra. Today, I am going to perform an interesting experiment to show that air occupies space. So, here I have a bucket full of water and one empty bottle. Oh, is it really empty or is it filled with air? Does air occupy space? Let's find out. Now friends, I invert the bottle slowly and put into the bucket. Notice, this bottle doesn't fill the bottle. There is something inside the bottle is occupying space. I can't see it. Is it air? Let's find. Now I tilt the bottle slightly. Oh, what's that? Air bubbles. Air bubbles are coming out from the bottle. Let me tilt a little more. Wow, wow, air bubbles are coming out from the bottle. Now friends, I apply the bottle again. You can see water level inside the bottle. Bubbles have stopped. Space that was occupied by air is now filled with water. Is it? Experiment has clearly proved that air occupies space. Is it that interesting? You can do it also at your home using any bucket and any bottle. So enjoy science. So now you have seen that there is an experiment going on here with the boy. Uh, and he has uh, given certain instruction. So whenever you are conducting, this is a very, you know, unprofessional kind of video, but it communicates everything. If you're focused on the, his language, you will find out that he has focused on each and everything very precisely. But we could have in, enhanced the quality of video if we can edit it, right? So whenever you are conducting, conducting an experiment or anything, for that matter, then we can focus on certain things which are required. For example, here he says in the beginning that we need one bucket of water, full of water and one empty bottle. Okay. So in that case, we could have an image of the same bottle and the bucket so that we could have placed it here. But right now we don't have that. So we will place some bucket and some bottle so that the clarity comes in the experiment. Okay. So now... Here I have got an image of bucket and also an image of a bottle. Now we are going to check where he is saying this and then we are going to give it a mark. Today I am going to perform an interesting experiment to show that air occupies space. So here I have a bucket. You said here I have a bucket. Now, this is the point where he is saying this. I want to give it a mark and I want to make a cut here. So, here you can see a blue drop, which is a marker. I will simply click it. A marker will appear here. Now, I'll again... Full of water and one empty... Here he is saying empty bottle. So, I'll again give a mark. Move ahead. Bottle. Oh. Now, he is going into that... Oh, is it really empty? That means we need to see here. So we are not going to take that image for a longer time. I'll again mark a drop. Okay, now you can see. These are the three drops which I have marked.
Okay. So everyone is asking about why track five, why not six? How, why, what to do with this track? We will come to those questions in just coming five, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. We will uh, have, this. we will discuss all these questions. So now, since we have given three marker and I, now I want to cut my video. So just because, uh, beside the marker tool, we have got a scissor, which is called a razor tool. Okay. This is the razor tool. I am going to simply select it once. Right now you can see it is not selected. I will simply single click. You can see now it is selected. And my mouse pointer has also changed to a knife. So now I am going to bring this knife here on the video and I am going to mark the cut. I marked the cut but should I actually mark the cut here? I will also mark one more cut where he is starting the bottle. Then one more cut where he is stopping the bottle and getting into the experiment. So I have got an answer for my question. No. Prakash ji, kere, Prakash ji is saying that we should not mark a cut. So why we should not mark a cut? That I will explain you now with an example. Now I, once you have, you know, marked the cut, First of all, remove the scissor from here. Deselect it. Now, see, I'm deleting my this portion. I don't want to use it. I want to put my image. Now, what will happen? You can see what will happen. So, here I have a bucket. The audio was, you know, mixed with the video. So, it has gone. That is why I should not have cut it like this. Right? So, what should I do now? I can simply undo the thing. Undo, redo, you know. I will simply say undo. Okay. Something has happened. So I'm again dragging back the video. Here is my video. So basically now I cannot do the same thing again. So now I have to mark the cut and then... Experiment to shoot at air of you by space. So here I have... So I will okay. first mark the Full marker. I will not and one one. empty bottle. Right? I have given the marker, but before cutting the video, now you see the use of tracks also. It is on track 4. Track 5, I will tell you later what happens to track 3. Right now, you can see that track 3 is empty, track 2, 1 is empty. Okay. So now I am going to click on the track itself. Right click and separate audio. Once I say separate audio, you can see the track below some audio file with waves has appeared. Okay. So that means we can keep the things like audio, which, which needs no visibility in the lower tracks. Okay. Now we can cut the video portion. I'm going to select the tool again. Come here. Mark the cut. Once again, mark the cut. I'm doing it together now. So this is where you are actually learning the stepwise editing. Now I've removed the scissor and I'm normal uh, cursor has appeared. I will select the portion and delete it from the delete button. Now I need to replace some this portion with some images. So I will select one image from here, which is a image of a bucket and one image of the bottle. So now you can see this is the image of a bucket, right? You can see the bucket now, but the bucket size is very big. I want it small. It is not size. It is duration of the bucket appearing is very, you know, long. So I need to cut it short. I can simply drag it to make it for a lesser time. Okay. 
or similar way i can increase the time of display of any image but you cannot do it with video because video is a playing mechanism image is a static mechanism i am now going to bring it here slightly big i'll keep it this okay now i'm going to bring it here down so that we can fix it here now you can see a blue line is appearing which is working as a magnet to join both the files so that there is no distance between this you can see here a magnet tool this is active if the magnet tool is not active what will happen the blue line will appear but it will not join the file it will not attract as a magnet it will only tell the place till where you can go but you have to go manually there so now you can see the difference here So when we do it manually without magnet, the there is one black half a second black is coming, half a frame black is coming. To avoid that, we use this magnet tool. If I use this magnet tool, it will simply get attached. See, there is no black coming now, right? Okay. Now I'm going to place this image slightly on the video. What will happen? You see. There is some blue thing has appeared. This is called a transition. In the presentation, when you make a PowerPoint presentation, you uh, you use a feature called transition that how a new slide will come and how the previous slide will go. Okay, similar transition can be added here to join more than one file together. So now, if I place if I place one thing on other, it will automatically apply one transition. But if you want to do it manually you can simply delete it and you can play your own transition also so i'll just show you how the transition is working here here of you by space so here i have you've seen the transition working here next transition we will put it ourselves similarly now we will you know play with this image i'm going to place it here another transition has appeared I'm going to delete this transition. Now in the project files, be, just beside it, you have a transition folder. You can select your transition from here. So I'm using some random thing so that we can easily see that. Just a second, I'll increase the size of this image so that we can actually see the transition. So I've increased the size slightly, uh, sorry, the duration for the image. And I'm going to apply a manual transition here. I'm simply dragging this transition, bringing it here and making it appear for a smaller duration again. Okay, now we'll see what happens. You can see a difference, different kind of uh, transition you can use here, right? So you can also choose your transition according to your video. Right now it is not very suitable, but I showed you this because this is prominently we can feel the difference of this appearance. Okay. So this is the first part of editing that we know how to drag the video, how to separate audio from video and how to apply a cut, how to mark where we want to cut and how to actually place a transition to join two things together. Okay. Now I want to tell you here one more feature that this is that to zoom in when you are editing, you want to zoom in, you can use this in the tracks for zoom in and zoom out. So this will help you edit edit in a perfect manner. Okay. Now, there is a space before the video. I've kept for the title of the program. How to make that title? You can make it in Canva. You can make it on your presentation. You can make it here also in this software. So now we will see how to make a title. Here, when we saw in the beginning, file, edit, title, view button, click on the title button. The first title, you use that. Okay. 
Now here are different options given to us. We can use any of them for making the title. Okay, I'll select this one. I need to put my words here, whatever title I want to give. There occupies space. Subtitle, I can give whatever is needed, maybe an experiment, a class, the name of the child, whatever you want to give. You can give that. Class, I'll say class sixth. Okay. Now, I've got this. If you want to change font or color, you can play with this here only. Say, for example, I've changed this color to this. You can see this. Similarly, you can play with other things and simply save it. This is a template. You can directly use it. Magnet tool. Okay. Uh, Malaji, I'll just show you. So now we know the we've just created a title slide where to look for it. In the project files folder, you can see that here the title file has emerged. Okay. So now I'm going to drag it here on the track file first and then going to resize it and then bring it here. Now you can see how my video is start to appear. Here there is no audio. Hello all. My name is okay. Now, again, with the title slide, you can do two, three things. I'm telling in one go, you can, you want to give the name of the speaker, you know, below, around in the waist. It's called Aston Band. You can create it here only. Or you want to give subtitles. Both will be created here using the footer text. Okay. So, I'm going to use this footer. Here, I'm going to give the name, but you can use any other text for example what the child is speaking you can give it as subtitles and you can keep replacing the tile of this subtitles and the subtitles will look like they are running even though they are static images so now i'm writing here the which other one this is the kid's name i'm going to change the text color here to pink and say okay and save now you can say this has come here. Now I'm going to show you one thing that how subtitles will appear. Subtitles will appear the same way this name will appear. So this tile, you can drag it here. Wherever you want to place his name or subtitle, you can place it on the top track. Now you can see the use of top track. Why top track? Because you can just see first. Now you can see the here the name coming on the video. From. So it is an overlay on the video. To overlay, whatever has to be on the top has to come on the upper track. Okay, anything like your, uh, your institution's logo, if you want to give, you need another upper track for this. Similarly, if you need subtitles, you need another upper track. Right now it is only Divij Agarwal. It can have full sentence here. Till the time he is speaking the sentence, place this tile and then change this title slide and make another one for the next sentence. This way you can use the subtitles also. Now, uh, somebody asked me for the uh, magnet tool. As we know, magnet attracts. Okay. So, magnet, when I select this tool or deselect, when I select this tool, what will happen? See. This is a video. If I, this, if, when you practice, you'll feel that, that when I come to this point, it's automatically, you know, attracts the file and joins it. If it is active. If it is not active, in that case, I'll keep doing it on my own, but it will not get automatically attracted by the next image or file. So that is a tool, magnet tool, uh, task magnet tool does. Now I'm going to also show you how to, you know, create a logo or how to apply a logo. So right now we have a five tracks. I'm going to add one more track. I want to show one logo here. So uh, I don't have though a file for logo, but I'm using this bucket as my logo. So I'll bring it here. Now logo has to be, you know, placed on the full video. If, if you want to place it on a full video. 
what we will do the same thing will happen in the footer also that how much time you want to display just drag it and keep it here till that point okay now this is a video this is a image normal image how to convert it into a logo you can get your own logo file simply place it that is also possible but if you don't have you want to make one so you can do it this way just see on the preview screen here bucket is visible so i am going to simply on the corners i am going to drag the corner to make the image look smaller See, I've made it very small. Now, this arrow has, four side arrow has come. I will simply hold it and bring it wherever you want to keep it on the screen. My logo is placed on the video. Now you can see. Hello all. My name is Imjana You can see the logo is coming. Name is coming. Name will disappear after the keep coming. Today, yes. I'm going to... So this is how you are going to apply, use the title slide and the logo and the tracks. All the audio, music, sound effects will be on lower tracks, video in the middle and the overlay things like name, subtitle on the top tracks. Okay, so this is the dis uh, understanding of the tracks. So... I know it is slightly for a first time when you are listening, it might be difficult, but if you follow the stepwise instru instructions, you will be able to easily achieve it. Now I'm shifting to one more important thing that is adding the audio file. Audio is already there. So I'm going to add one music file. I've kept it here. I will bring it here in the lower track. Track two, track one is still free. You can use it for sound effect or you can simply, uh, you know, keep it free. Now I'm going to select the razor tool. I want to reduce the audio file. Deselect it. I'm removing the first portion. This is a very big file. So I'm again going to cut it somewhat here. You can listen to the music file first and decide which portion you want to keep. Now you can listen and tell me what should be done. have observed that we we are missing on to the child's voice and music voice is very high so we need to reduce the voice of the music and if possible we need to enhance the sound of the child okay yes everyone has given the correct answer in the chat so now how to do it so one thing i want to tell you here is in this tool you cannot play much with the audio but basic you can do so in case if you are first creating audio somewhere else like in Audacity, just try to finalize there only and then bring it here. For, but for leveling, I'm just click, right click on the audio file, music file, go to volume button. Right now I'm saying entire clip, you can do a fade in in the beginning, fade out at the end, everything can be uh, done. Or you can simply select fade out in entire clip. So right now I'm saying, make the or music level to 10 percent that means very low so i'm just doing it right now that now you listen to it class 2d from mt international school september basundra now you can see today the i'm going to perform an interesting experiment really to show that in that case if the portion is very low then we can slightly enhance also to maybe 20 percent Based on the important here, so, here I have a bucket full of water and one empty bottle. Oh, is it really empty? Okay, now the most important thing which I missed. That whenever you are editing, whenever you've started editing, please save your project, not the file. 
not the video I'm saying, project. So how to save the project? Go to file, first save project. Okay, so I'm clicking on the save project button. I'm going to save it as air occupy space and save. It is on desktop. You can decide where you want to save. It has been saved. It is not a video file. MP4 nahi hai ye. This is just this project will open again. That you can re-edit it. Otherwise, you won't be able to edit it. Okay. So, I have just saved the project that sometimes what happens, our systems are normal systems, not video editing systems. So, RAM is very less. So, your file, your project may get closed suddenly. In that case, if you save it timely, you are able to recover it. Otherwise, you will not be able to recover the project. So, keep saving and never be, you know, ki my system is hanging, slow down. So, these softwares are slightly heavier than the normal word file software. Okay. So, you have to keep that in mind when you are working on this. Now, since I have done few things, we have seen the audio yeah, and uh, we have basically edited our file. Now, we can save the it as a MP4 also. But before that, I just want to show you one, one or two things. That is, right click, you can see here a few more, you know, uh, features which you can play with. You can try on your own fade, animate, some kind of animation in, in your title, rotate, layout change, anything you can play with this. Here you can just click and try to understand what they do. Now I'm going to simply export the video. You can click here also or you can go to file menu and export the video. Now I've clicked on export video. It will open me a folder where I will have a lot of options to select from. First of all, since I saved my project, so it knows the name. Now I want to save this video for CD, DVD or WhatsApp. Then based on that, you can select device, web, DVD, I would say all formats. Then which kind of MP4 you want, you can choose that. What is the video profile? Video profile here is that when you work for Instagram and Facebook and other social media uh, tools, then the video profile is different for every tool. You can, you know, depending on those two uh, software, you can uh, select your video profile here. Now quality, high, medium, low. We can go with medium and high. Low is quite low, so it doesn't work properly. Go for high better and then export video. Now, this exporting may take a lot of time when you are creating actual video of maybe 5 minute or 10 minute or half an hour. It may take up to 2 to 3 hours also because this is not a saving process. This is a rendering process. Rendering means all the sound effects, music, Visual effects, we are compiling them together. We are merging them together here. The software is working on that. So it will take some time and it will do it frame by frame. You can see it here. This many frames per second speed is happening. So as many frames, it will take longer time. So don't panic. Don't worry about this and let it happen. You can have a break by then. Once it will happen, then you will actually be able to see your video. So since it is happening, then I can take the questions. Ma'am, please share at least any recorded video through which we can understand each step. Okay, sir, we'll sh I'll share this. Does this software require a graphic card? Sir, in this right now as a basic software, it doesn't. But if you want to go for in the title slide, you must have seen animated title. If you maybe download that, uh, integrate that software, then you might require a graphic card. I use this software, it is very effective. What processor should be used? So mine is a normal uh, one. I have not uh, given any uh, special technical, uh, this thing to the soft laptop. Save project, okay. First is go to file, save project, give the name to the project and where it has to be saved, the location. Once it is saved, then you can save it as a video file. You can save it as a video file prior to the project also, but if in between the project closes, then you are not able to retrieve it. And if you have certain later on editing needs, you cannot do it. So in that case, it is always better to save the project. 
Ma'am, what about the MP? It will. I don't know. I'll request that you ask the questions related to the session right now. Maybe the other questions can be taken by the team later. Okay, any other question? Have few doubts, please raise the record so that we can clear doubts and make video, yes. Okay, so I can see most of the videos are, uh, most of the questions are answered and video is also done. So now I will simply take you to the uh, my desktop. You can see here, this is the project file and this is the video file, okay? The project file you want to see, the properties are, this is the OSP file. Okay, this is the open short project file. This will open on the software only. If you check this, this is an MP4 file, which is a video file. Now I'm going to play this file for you. Just see whatever we have done is visible now. Whatever we did, we have now seen that it has a uh, it is very much easily visible that whatever we have done, we can see here. Now, this doesn't end here. We can have one more. I want to tell you one more feature of this software because we also want to know that what this software can do. So I'm going to do one more thing for you using this very project now. I'm simply moving a little ahead. There is one thing called chroma. Okay, chroma means that my video has been shot in front of a green cloth. Okay, green background against a green background. And I want to remove that background and add a new background there. So that is possible on this software and rather that is very simple on this software. So for doing that, I'm going to import a few more files. I've got two files here. I'm going to place them on the tracks. I'll just show first what it is and then we will uh, learn how to do Chroma. Just carefully see, it is very simple. Don't worry, these are two images which I am playing in front of you. This is a small uh, visual video. Okay, now you can see here, we've got a green background. A person is standing in front. I want to remove this background and maybe I want to keep this as a background. This as a background. What should I do now? So first of all, I will, I can place it here or you can place it anywhere for that matter in the beginning. Come to the beginning of this. I'll keep it separately first. So this is the first frame of my uh, character. Now I want to apply Chroma. I showed you in besides project file, we have a folder called transitions. Then we have a folder called effects. So I'll go to effects, use the Chroma key effect, drag it and bring it on this video. Okay, you can see it. Now clicking on this, now you can see us, uh, you can see that a C is appearing here. I'll simply right click here go to properties okay now i want to key color this is called key chroma key so i my key color is which i color i want to remove is green so i will do key color here black i'll just double click 
I'll get a palette of colors. Now pick screen color. Pick screen color and come here. It is visible now here. If I go manually, then the green would vary and it will be very long process to, you know, remove this color. So I've simply done pick screen color. And I say, okay. Now you can see most of the green color has vanished. For rest of the green, there is this threshold. Click here on the five. You make it simply 50 and see. The color has further gone down. I will make it 100. It has gone further down. 150, further down. And it has almost gone down. So this threshold you have to work out with your thing that there could be shades of green you need to select and remove. So you have to, you can, you know, if you have two, three shades of green, then you can drag the C twice and thrice. And you can pick, keep picking the color and remove it. Okay. Now, since it has been removed, one thing we have to do is, This character is right now is in the air. So I want to bring it on the, you know, surface and want to reduce the size of the character a little bit. Right? I've done this and I can bring him here. Done? Now, this is a character. I want to place it here. I've simply placed the background below and overlaid the image on the background. Now you can see my chroma. Okay. This way you can also perform some kind of chroma and you can also, you know, create videos with single background and then you can play with the different applications, different features easily. Now I've, I'll take your questions because I know I have covered it in one go and have not taken most of the questions. We can now take up the questions so that you can also start editing easily. Whether we want to add, we should place in separate track, ma'am. Uh, Radhika, ma'am, can you please unmute and uh, you know say your question because I am not able to understand your question. Whatever we want to, we have to add uh, for the video, we should place it in the separate tracks. And that means background in the separate pictures in the separate track. That I asked, ma'am. Ah, ma'am, so basically you cannot say that you have to keep it in a separate. Like, for example, when I place the image, I placed in the same track. Okay. But if you want to overlay it, you want it to appear over something, then it has to be placed in a separate plus upper track. Ma'am, how can we add scrolling of matter? Scrolling of matter means, uh, sorry, I didn't understand again. Yeah, good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. I have to add some matter which, which has to be scrolled at the bottom or top of the screen. Okay, so if you want to scroll down something or you want to move out of the screen something, then you have to do it in a similar way. Like I reduce the image to a logo. You can, you know, keep moving it. I'll just show you that part once. Just a second. So here, I'll go here. This logo we have applied, right? So I'm uh, going to make a few changes to this logo right now. This logo is here. I'm coming here after the logo has appeared and I'm slowly... you know, doing this. Anything. Right now, I'm just uh, trying to show you something. Now, what will happen is, you will see. Similar way, you can do scrolling. The sear occupies space. The Let's find out. It is slowly spreading over the screen. So, you can use this. Maybe if you want to scroll up, then you can use it like upside and similar way, you can play with it. Oh, I'm asking about the text if you, that Guru Jagarwal uh, name is there now. If you want to uh, make that name to move from right to left uh, at the bottom. Right to left it won't go sir. The, the subtitle thing or the scrolling thing I told you that 
for example this text is there once the text is over the the whole sentence is over then you create a next title slide and then create it and place it there is no feature here that it will automatically do it like in youtube you see automatically it does cc that will not be happening here thank you ma'am okay we log made available ready template for short video no no there are no much templates here we are doing it uh, in uh, it's all uh, you know manual hello ma'am yes sir isme jo template hote hain wo hame ready made mil jate hain ya hame create karne padte hain सर वीडियो के लिए कोई टेम्पलेट नहीं है आपके पास टेम्पलेट के नाम पे यहाँ पे ट्रांजिशन और इफेक्ट्स हैं बस और कुछ टेम्पलेट नहीं है टाइटल के टेम्पलेट हैं बस लाइक like अभी आप सुपरमैन का हमें कुछ भी बनाना है तो बना सकते हैं या कुछ रेडीमेड ही लेना है लाइक like सुपरमैन या मूविंग इमेज बनाना है तो इस मतलब टेम्पलेट के जरिए क्रिएट कर सकते हैं या कुछ और भी क्रिएट कर, कर सकते हैं अपने तरीके से इफेक्ट देख आपको कैरेक्टर लेके आना पड़ेगा बेसिक एनिमेशन जैसे मैंने बताया था राइट क्लिक करके आप वीडियो पे राइट क्लिक करेंगे तो आपको यहाँ पे एनिमेट की ऑप्शन मिलेगी तो आप उसके थ्रू थोड़ी बहुत एनिमेशन कर सकते हैं बट ऑटोमेटिकली बहुत चीजें इसमें नहीं है उस तरह से नहीं है कि इनबिल्ट दिया है जैसे जो अभी मोबाइल एप्स है उसमें इनबिल्ट है बहुत सारी चीजें बिकॉज वो रील को ध्यान में रख के बनाई गई है तो टेम्पलेट्स दिया उस तरह से इसमें नहीं है ओके अमेजिंग मैम योर सेशन इज सो अमेजिंग थैंक यू सर सो आई एम आल्सो गोइंग थ्रू योर क्वेश्चंस इन द चैट प्लीज आप लोग भी अपने क्वेश्चंस पूछ लीजिए यू कैन आस्क योर क्वेश्चंस जस्ट अनम्यूट योरसेल्फ एंड आस्क प्लीज समराइज फ्रॉम बिगनिंग ओके बट फ्रॉम बिगनिंग इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट दिस वीडियो रिकॉर्डिंग आई थिंक विल बी मेड अवेलेबल टू यू यू कैन uh you know easily go to the video and check everything you can ask the team uh, coordinating so that you get the video yes video will be available on the cit website after this workshop so someone is asking a question i'll stop the screen share first and now you can ask so that i can see you also any question you can ask we got time i have kept time for the question that is why i ran in the beginning no questions or you have not right now tried or you know tested the software downloaded it okay no question so i would like to यस भरत सर बोलिए हाउ टू क्रॉप शॉर्ट वीडियो फ्रॉम सच इंफॉर्मेटिव मूवीज यू वॉन्ट टू क्रॉप और कट सम वीडियो सम पोर्शन ऑफ द वीडियो यू वॉन्ट टू कट इट बेसिकली वॉट आई अंडरस्टूड सो सिमिलरली द वे वी कट द वीडियो एंड रिमूव द इमेज फ्रॉम बिटवीन वी कैन कट द वीडियो एंड रिमूव द अनवॉन्टेड पोर्शन फ्रॉम द video uh, animate to text possibly possibility sir you can try it few things you need to try on your own running text running text i just explained sir it is not a running text you have to create a title slide with the footer and then you can keep creating you know maybe one sentence can uh, come in one slide second sentence can go in the second slide and this way you can keep placing it there is no such option as running text in this software hello uh, can you show the green screen again okay yes sir rajesh sir i mean good afternoon can we edit the audio part only about one video you can, the video. you can you can cut short the audio as i did like in front of you i cut the music you can do that much you can reduce the volume of the audio file but after this if you want to do anything you have to take it to audacity and do it ha uh ha -huh. i am asking that is if someone shared a video already created in open start we downloaded in the desktop and we we can we edit the audio part only only audio also you can edit but it will be exported as mp4 then 
हाँ दिस इज अ वीडियो सॉफ्टवेयर ओके थैंक यू uh there is a question by sukanta saha from tripura saying that can you show me a green screen again if possible okay ma'am i'll just demonstrate that to you um share screen so here in the software now you can see ma'am sukanta ma'am please see here so i am removing the effect right now so this is the this is the uh, my uh, video which where i can uh, you know do the green screen effect so i'll come in the beginning just at the beginning on the first frame itself here is the first frame now go to effect option here once you go to the effect option select the chroma key and bring it down here on the video itself or the uh, image where you want to remove and now you can simply click right click on the chroma button c button and then go to properties once you go to property we have to basically do two things key color and threshold key color is when majorly there is one green color so i'm going to do double click pick screen color say for example if i don't pick a green screen green color then i i'll select on my own okay now see what will happen this will not remove most of the color because it's not nearby to that green i'll say this it is not removing anything so i'll again go pick screen color this color i've got and now you can see most of the color is removed now the color which is just beyond the body of that character is a shade different from what we selected so for that here we are going to use some experiment that we will put some five uh, right now it is five only we'll do 70 most of the color is gone we do 170 maximum color is so this way you can uh, remove the background color once the background color is removed you need a new background so just place that new background below that video and you will your uh, video is uh, your chroma is done i hope this now clarifies your question your confusion just try it once it might be seeming difficult to you but once you try it will be very easy ah uh, premlata ji has asked from cbsc she is any watermarking no this is a open source software no watermark you've just seen the video which i edited and there was no watermark so you can make a one i have used it for a maximum of one and a half hour video there was no watermark because it is an open source video crop video i told you that you can simply cut the video and remove the unwanted part can we download images while making video and add that is your system's uh, uh, management only that if your system is that fast that you can run two three files together so you can because right now also my system is running open shot my system is running a presentation my system is running you know internet where i showed you how to download my system is also running zoom so we can definitely you know uh, multitask or can we add our own audio any audio you can add right now the child audio is there i have not added any audio to him okay when you are recording you could, it could be your voice you can separately record on audacity and bring it here you can separately record on your phone and bring it here that is up to you can you change the frame size i just showed you how to you know Uh, reduce or increase the frame size you can do that running text i have told already i think most of the questions in the chat box i have answered if you still have any question please please mention how project file to be placed in different tracks on video on the top tracks like 4 5 6 always place the video in the lower track like 1 2 3 you can place music sound effect 
audio narration, all this. On the topmost track, it should be the overlay thing like logo or any other Aston band or anything which will appear on the video. Okay, so that has to be placed on the top track. Thank you, Sukanta sir. 4K video bana sakte. Uh, Sharad sir, I showed you the setting where we can have the video profile. You can go and check up to which extent you can create the video. <laughs> ma'am, there are unlimited video editing apps. Uh, ma'am, no, sorry, sir. I don't know these apps are open source or not. I have not checked it. I think you can uh, just check it once on your own. Please provide step-by-step -step instructional PPT, okay? Okay. Premlata ji has asked that in the title option, we have animated title. What is this option? Now you see here animated title. When I click here, it asks me for something. You can see these are all things are given and I select something and it says Blender. The free open source 3D content creation suit is required for this action. So we need to integrate another tool with this for your animated titles. This is what it says. Can we record our voice? No, here in this software you cannot, but in Audacity you can and you can bring it here. Is there any open source green background video source as per my criteria? Open source green background video. See, sir, I have downloaded it just to show you from different sources, but open source I have not checked, but definitely there are many open source video libraries. You can check once there. Different tracks for different uh, video layers, not for effects. It can be, effect can be one layer, but it can also be that you want to keep the image in different layer. That is your choice. When preparing project, can we record our voice there only? No, in this software, you cannot because this is a video editing software and not an audio recording software. So you have to get it recorded in Audacity or on your phone or on your, any other software and then you can bring it here. How many tracks we can use? Sir, you can keep add and try. I have not uh, seen the maximum limit right now. I, uh, Vanajakshi ji, that I have created a video of up to one and a half hour. Depends how many effects or transition you want to add, it will take more time. Otherwise, it is in front of you that within half an hour, uh, 45 minutes, we've done that video. So your speed and everything is uh, depend on, depends on a lot of things. Learn a lot of things, more effective face-to-face. You know, -face. All the best information limitation is an export. There is no limitation is in the export. It takes more time in every software. Even if it is a professional uh, Adobe Premiere, then also rendering always takes time. So it is not a limitation of any of the software. This is just a, a technical uh, step which has to be followed. Text effects, I have told you, sir, you can uh, use the same way. AI, no, right now there is no AI, but you can keep checking because the upgradation keep coming here. Right now, also it is saying an update available, but I have not uh, added it. Yes, Pixabay is one of the platform where you can get images and videos. Yes, you can record your own voice and merge it here in the software. Sir, everything will be given to you by the team. Uh, Deva Malya Bhattacharya ji. Everything will be given by the team. So no worries about that. Now I'll, my, I'll stop share. Is it Pixabay is OS? Pixabay is uh, open source and as well as uh, it has got both kind of content. You can, when you go to Pixabay, you can uh, select your license first and then you will get those Im images or videos. So Pixabay host uh, open source as well as uh, proprietary uh, images and uh, posters. Lakshmi, ma'am, you can definitely make it Telangana 
from Telangana, you just see the video and try to create it, you will be able to do it. I'm sure. Okay, then I think we are done with the session. Thank you very much to all the participants for such uh, being such interactive uh, participants. You are trying also, you have a lot of questions and all the questions I could say are more relevant to the session, not just vague. So that means you are paying attention to the session. Thank you very much for being such patient listeners. And I hope you'll be able to develop and edit the videos using the knowledge which uh, I had a little bit of it. So uh, all the best to all of you and thank you very, very much. Thank you uh, to the CIT team also. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you for the wonderful and interactive session and thank you for answering all the questions. All the participants learned a lot about video resources.